As I mentioned, for plane wave propagation, the values of the E and H fields only change along one direction. That's in the direction that the wave is propagating. This is the simplest form of electromagnetic wave propagation, and it's also a nice place to start when we're studying Maxwell's equations. But we've seen this before, right, where we have fields that only change in one direction. Like in the transmission lines section of this class, along a transverse electromagnetic transmission line, TEM transmission line, the voltages and the currents, and thus also the E and H fields, propagate in only one direction, the Z direction, which we assume was along the transmission line. And the E and H fields are also perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Uh, what did we call that? K hat direction in transmission lines. Yeah, so they're perpendicular to the direction of propagation. And this is also true for electromagnetic plane waves. This slide shows a plane wave. It's extending infinitely wide in the x and y directions, so we're only really drawing the, the value it has along the z axis. Um, uh, but it's, it's, um, the values only change in one direction, the z direction. It's propagating in the z direction. And the electric field is oriented in the x direction, so we'd call it, say, it's x polarized. We usually use the direction of the E field to say what the polarization is of the wave. And in this case, the magnetic field is oriented in the y direction. So both of those are perpendicular to the direction of propagation. And they also follow, the E and H fields also follow the right-hand rule. So if you point your fingers in the direction of the E field, curl them in the H direction of the H field, your thumb will point in the direction of propagation.